the adrenaline rush because it's a, a very short race. Usually the start is the most important. You might get a little pushing and shoving. And then uh, usually the guy comes out in the lead of that is usually the one who will win. What are we working on today? Okay, I need uh, a new set of bars put on here. And uh, I got to uh, add some studs to the back tire. Weeknights, you'll find the Hood family under the roof of their Winnipeg garage, a natural for three generations of bikers. During the summer, Kim Hood is a national motocross champion. But during the winter, he's Manitoba's Iceman. Okay, here, now, put it to where you sit on the bike, and we'll adjust it to where it fits you right. His four-year-old daughter, Amy, is geared up and determined to make her racing debut this winter. Dad, can you, can you do what I can? When she does, she'll follow the tracks of not only her dad, but her grandpa. Raymond Hood has been racing motorcycles for more than 30 years. As for the family tradition, he says he never pushed son Kim into ice racing, but he may have pulled him. He used to just come around and watch. He used to tow him around behind in a... Well, the Volkswagen hood, matter of fact, behind the bike after the races for, you know, for fun. Then, as he got older, uh, he got a bike from him to ride, and uh, he got into it, too. Rotating from summer to winter racing means changes to equipment and attitude, but basically for Kim, it's a chance to keep his right hand cranked year-round. My friends bring my bikes out for me because I don't have no way of doing it because I have to bring the truck. The truck is the Terminator. Not only is Kim a fierce Iceman competitor, he literally is the Iceman. Every Sunday morning, he keeps Manitoba's ice racing on the oval by preparing the rounds. Around and around a pond next to the Winnipeg Speedway. Cold enough today, the ice is going to stay hard. Yeah. 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 Warm yeah, enough true. that we'll get a lot of people out to see yeah. it happen. I came out here a couple weeks ago during that storm. Oh, yeah. I had to do 30 miles an hour on the highway to get out here. I couldn't even find the speedway, and I thought, oh gosh, I'm going to be all by myself out here. And I get out, and there's like 75 riders. before or have any questions, ask Paul or me, and uh, don't just uh, wander around in a day. Which way do we like go? Like last time. We turn left, you're right. I never get that right. <laughs> by skill, they decide their level. Machines are sometimes shared, and for 15 bucks, you race all day. You need a helmet for you, and a dead man switch for your machine, even though Kim says there's little real danger. I'd say it's, it's safer than playing hockey. In, uh, in all the years that I've ice raced, no one's ever, ever been seriously hurt. And I've done a lot of racing. enough to let daughter Amy take to the track. And if she needs pointers, well, there's always Grandpa Ray. For Kim, it's all about getting aboard 61 and giving her. fast as you can into a corner and you pretty well just throw it sideways. You gotta hold the bike up and work the throttle and usually try to dice for position with somebody else. And uh, you gotta put a lot of physical effort into it. In this 
race, Kim is beaten by Al Keith, someone he's been dicing with for more than a decade. Oh, he's a pretty tremendous competitor. He's very vicious. He likes to win. Well, I remember my first ice race, Kim passed me, just stuffed me out of the way, and, and I learned pretty quick that, you know, if you're gonna race with Kim, you gotta be there, and you gotta, gotta know he's there all the time. Race day wraps up with Kim and his partner, Paul Masaryk, handing out the hardware to all the day's winners. There's some final laps to take. Well, it's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. It doesn't seem like work when you're out there. 